today I've got this pretty affordable Alvarez AP610 parlor shaped uh, acoustic guitar and I've got a set of Tomastic Enfeld Plectrum strings which are a hybrid set I'll talk about in a second. The strings on this are three years old and this guitar when it was new was only about 250 or 275 ish. Uh, so by all internet forum logic, it shouldn't sound good, right? Today I thought I'd just play a couple playing samples and share how, even though something that might have old strings on it, a cheap guitar, although it's not going to sound anything like uh, a high-end Martin with new strings on it, it does kind of have its own cute, kind of like unique character sound to it. This guitar sounds really sweet. I've got a couple of microphones here, and I'll try and do my best to see all these different sounds I can get for a recording situation. The reason I wanted to record today is because I actually have to replace these uh, with a set of Nashville tuning strings, uh, which if you don't know is basically like the high strings with 12 string set, the small ones. Uh, and so I just wanted to record it one last time before I have to take them off. I might end up putting the same set back on or I might leave this guitar as a converted uh, Nashville guitar. We'll see what happens. Uh, but anyway, just keep in mind the strings are three years old. They're a little bit out of tune as you get further up the neck. I've tried my best to try and intonate bending and stuff as, as I play, but uh, just bear with me on that. So I said I'd explain a little bit about these strings. The TI Plectrum set is actually a hybrid set. So on the low E string, we have a round wound string, traditional phosphor bronze round wound for an acoustic. And then on the A, D, and G, it's actually a set of flat wound strings. And then finally on the high B and E strings, these are just plain unwound regular guitar strings that you would have, plain steel. Uh, the B and E strings for sure are a long shot, but I think especially the flat wounds have a lot of life left in them. The round wound sounds dead, but it fits the character of the whole thing. Um, so I actually recorded a video when I put these strings on back in May 2018. Let's listen to a playing sample of how they sounded uh, brand new, and then I'll try my best to do the same playing sample with the strings, uh, how they are three years later. Now I don't have the same microphones, I'm not in the same house anymore, uh, but yeah, just give, a, give it a shot. If you do feel like reading a little bit about these strings, I will have them linked in the description as well uh, as the equivalent Alvarez model. The AP610 is not made any longer, but they do have uh, a similar uh, different numbered guitar that they're making these days.
Let me know what you thought of the TI Plectrum set. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, like I said, all the links for the strings and the guitar and everything, maybe the microphones as well, uh, will be linked in the description. The microphones I used uh, mostly were the Slate Digital ML1, which is a modeling set of microphones. Uh, I recently did an acoustic guitar demo of them up up here that you might want to check out if you're interested in a good set of microphones. They're really versatile, pretty affordable too. Um, and I think the technology is pretty interesting. Anyway, take care. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.